What's up, YouTube? So today I wanted to do something a little different. Kind of like a pop of color. I don't know. I was kind of thinking purple. I have like this makeup palette. I don't know how to say like the name of the company, but that's what this palette is called. So yeah, anyways, let's get into it. Obviously, I already started with my brows and I also spot concealed a little bit. So if you want to see how I do my brows, I have a brow tutorial and I'm going to leave it up here somewhere. But I think I want to start with the eyes first. Actually, should I? Never mind. I don't know why, but I want to start with my face first. So for the base, I'm going to start with foundation, which is this Gosses foundation, just because it's like more natural. And I don't really want like the focus of the makeup to be the face, so I want it to be more natural. I'm just like making sure that all the concealer that's underneath is like blended out like because sometimes if you leave it on too long it like it's kind of hard to blend out and I feel like it shows underneath <laughs> it's like it's doing its job like too good And then for contour, I'm going to go in with this Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. It's an Amber Suede number 9. It's literally my favorite. If you're new to this channel, now you know. But if you're not new, then like you already know that this was what I was going to use. It just like blends like butter like this. And the contour stick, like, mm. make sure you're tapping like that's how you get it to look like super airbrushed so next i'm gonna just set like all the places that i put contour with this dior forever natural bronze but this one's perfect it's just like looks like it's meant to be i don't know how to explain it and i kind of like to drag <clears throat> and I kind of like to drag the contour like up towards like my temples and like connect it to my forehead contour so now I think I want to start with the eyes even though I did say we were going to use the other palette um, for the transition though I'm going to use the Nova Beauty palette and I'm going to use this shade right here it's literally called shade and it is my favorite like for transitions like are you kidding like it's just so perfect it's so perfect actually since I want to go a little darker on the crease I'm going to take this Leo Way palette from Morphe and I'm going to take a little bit of this brown color right here and just like run that all over my crease doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it's blended. I'm gonna use this Tarte Shape Tape. It's like a little like mini like sample travel, I think it's like a sample size that I got like a while ago, but it's like in a really light color. So I just kept it for times like this, but basically I'm just gonna put it on top of the eyeshadow. and make sure that it touches a little bit on top and that's how we're gonna know where to put the cut crease. And I'm gonna take this like flat concealer brush from Morphe. It's what I use to carve out my brows. And when I do this, I like to let the brush like do the work for me. Like instead of just trying to like draw the line myself, like I just stamp it so that it does most of the work for me, if that makes sense. And then I just start to like blend out the outer corner because it doesn't need to be that precise anyways. I just want like this part to be sharp. Um, but make sure you don't blink because you're gonna mess everything up, okay? Then I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna go into this palette and I'm gonna use this lilac color and I'm gonna put it on like the center.
So I also went on top of it with this color. It's called Mystic because I feel like the lilac was like a little bit blue and then this color kind of has a little bit more of like a pink shimmer to it so it makes it a little more like purpley but yeah so i'm basically just gonna do that same thing onto the other side put it off right back okay so i just took the other side and then i'm just gonna set the outer and inner corners with translucent powder so that it like stays light like that so for eyeliner i'm gonna use the nova beauty talk to you later gel eyeliner i'm gonna line the whole thing And I'm also creating like a little baby wing. Now for the concealer for the rest of the face, um, I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 115. So now I'm just going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder everywhere where I put concealers where I'm going to set. I'm also going to set over my nose. Just make sure there's no shiny parts on my contour. So for blush, I'm going to do this purple blush from Milk. It's in the color Quickie. I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm How Many Carrots. Highlight. I'm just gonna like tap that on. I'm not even gonna just like swipe it and just tap it. And then for nose highlight, I'm gonna use this cookie highlight from Benefit. And then I'm gonna put this on my inner corners also. And then on top of my eyes, I'm going to put the diamond balm and I'm going to drag it up to my brow bone. Alright, so for mascara, I'm going to use this super fan mascara from the Smashbox. And I'm just going to put one coat and I'm not even going to curl my lashes. Oh my god, leave it to me to do this. I'm gonna let that dry and hopefully it'll just scratch off. But in the meantime, I'm gonna use these lashes from Kiss in the style of Little Black Dress. And I'm gonna leave it on here for right now because I'm gonna put some of this concealer on it because I'm gonna make the lashes purple. I feel like it's gonna look really good. So I'm literally just gonna take the concealer and just on the top. And it doesn't have to be perfect you just want to make sure that it's like light enough to where that if you put the purple on it's gonna be purple you know all right so this is it um for the lips I'm okay so first of all my camera died and second of all I went in with my regular uh, MAC lip liner in stone, like normal. I'm gonna go in with this same concealer that I used for the, the cut crease. It's like almost white. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the center of my lips and just pat it out. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use this lip gloss. I don't know what the brand is called, but it's in the color 00 Meteor Track. And it's got like these like blue shimmers in it, so I feel like it'll go good with this look. Alright, so this is for real the 
final look. <laughs> and then I, oh, also I added like some fake moles just so you can see the lashes up close. I literally love the purple and I love how it like starts off black and then like goes into the purple. Anyways, I feel cute as fuck so I'm gonna go take pictures but if you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me and I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.